welcome to another video now today's video is a video that I wanted to do about a month ago but I never got around to it and that is uh, the news that happened uh, over a month ago and that is that Intel will now back AMD's FreeSync technology and uh, instead of going to G-Sync they're going to support AMD's FreeSync and that's major news because one of the largest chip manufacturer will now be backing AMD instead of NVIDIA and uh, as a result I predict there's going to be a floodgate of free sync monitors coming into the market and uh, there's already a lot of free sync monitors that are entering the market and as that happens the price of free sync monitors is going to go even down um, it's already quite cheap you could uh, buy it for uh, $300 or less and uh, the interesting thing about FreeSync is that not only is cheaper but it uh, supports a much greater refresh range as opposed to um, G-Sync and it's an open standard it's been incorporated into VISA which is a organization that stands for Video Electronic Standards Association and since it's an open standard anyone could adopt it so what that means is that from now on um, in future Intel chips you can expect to have um, AMD's FreeSync support so let's say if you wanted to switch out your graphics card and wanted to use your Intel processor that has the Intel integrated graphics chip and if that were to and if that was the case you'd be able to take the benefits of FreeSync and, and uh, that will reduce um, screen tearing and stuttering and uh, to explain FreeSync I'm gonna real quickly show you a video about how uh, FreeSync works. Now this is an example of screen tearing and if you're a PC gamer or a console gamer at some point you came across uh, screen shots like this and it's extremely annoying and becomes really annoying uh, when you're gaming and uh, gets in the way of your gaming and with uh, FreeSync uh, you won't have to worry about that because it will completely get rid of this screen tearing in addition to the fact that it will uh, reduce stuttering. So according to the uh, tech report which quotes uh, Intel fellow and chief graphics software architect David Blith that uh, quote Intel's position on supporting Visa adaptive sync standard is variable uh, adaptive sync standard for variable, variable refresh displa displays and uh, Blith indicated that Intel is positively inclined towards standard based solution like adaptive sync so that pretty much uh, guarantees that uh, from going forward up, uh, going from let's say Intel 7700K or whatever they want to call it in their next CPUs, Intel will support FreeSync. Now I want to quickly go over the difference between G-Sync and uh, FreeSync. So the difference is that um, FreeSync is open standard so anyone can use it. You don't have to pay the uh, $200 cost for the custom ASIC that uses, that's used in G-Sync. Um, it's in, used in standard display hardware and it has zero licensing costs hence um, FreeSync monitors are almost all the time cheaper than uh, G-Sync monitors by $200 or so less and you don't have any uh, uh, performance penalty and uh, also uh, like G-Sync it uses uh, DisplayPort so these are uh, many of the benefits of FreeSync over G-Sync and I would also like to add that 
FreeSync, unlike G-Sync, has uh, supports much lower refresh rate, up to I believe 9 Hz. So now that's important if you have uh, something like Intel integrated graphics chip, which are not as fast as um, desktop graphics cards. So you may get lower refresh rate, uh, sorry, lower frame rates. So once you get to the lower end of the uh, frames, um, FreeSync will uh, assist you with that screen tearing or stuttering. So that's one huge benefit that AMD has over NVIDIA's uh, G-Sync. Now uh, this is especially important since uh, G-Sync and FreeSync essentially does the same thing um, except that uh, G-Sync uh, costs over $200 more or around $200 more and FreeSync in many ways is better because it supports the lower refresh rate and it costs $200 less so I don't see why you would spend the extra no money to get essentially the same thing and uh, it's uh, with respect to HD DVD versus Blu-ray, that uh, event that happened 10 years ago, um, you're kind of seeing a repeat of that with the FreeSync versus G-Sync. And as uh, Ernest Hemingway said, history doesn't repeat, your sure does echo. And uh, I think you're seeing echoes of that with respect to FreeSync and G-Sync with uh, FreeSync winning out. And as I stated earlier, more and more um, uh, screen manufacturers are supporting FreeSync and as that uh, evolves, uh, you're going to see a much much lesser price of uh, free sync monitors because uh, already you're seeing uh, free sync monitor that costs significantly less than G sync so there you have it folks the reason why you should get free sync over G sync and uh, how free sync in many ways is better than G sync and uh, remember the reason I made this video is to inform and educate as uh, that's the intention of my channel is to inform and educate so uh, don't be like those people that wasted 300 400 500 dollars buying HD DVD 10 years ago and uh, only to get ripped off and uh, they couldn't use their 300 400 500 dollar uh, HD DVD players once uh, uh, many uh, studios started supporting HD DVD uh, sorry many studios started started supporting Blu-ray over HD DVD and you see a similar pattern here where all these screen manufacturers a lot of them are starting to back uh, FreeSync and uh, more and more are producing uh, FreeSync monitors and they're coming at a much much lesser price and I expect that to uh, go down as more third-party um, generic brands are starting to produce FreeSync monitors so um, don't be like those people who bought HD DVD uh, players so now what we're seeing is an evolution of monitor technology so we started off with black and white uh, television and then we went to color then we had CRT monitors, and then we went to LCD, then we went to LED, then we have various forms of uh, plasma or OLED displays, and now uh, FreeSync is an evolution of uh, the monitor technology, and uh, I think it's a great thing, especially if you're a gamer, because those screen tearings and stuttering are absolutely annoying, and with uh, FreeSync, it basically makes things much more fluid and much more pleasant experience when gaming so I myself plan to get a free sync monitor so I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, so feel free to like subscribe and especially share I think this is very important so as a lot of as I stated earlier you don't want to be like those people who bought HD DVD players and uh, only to see that uh, the support of it go down the gutter so uh, go out and buy a free sync monitor I'm going to include some links to some uh, free sync monitors like the one that Tom's Hardware recommended it's an excellent Acer monitor as well as I believe HP recently uh, released a new uh, LCD or a new display monitor that supports free sync and I'm soon going to try to include all the graphics card that supports free sync so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, and I thank you for watching